Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Jerry Turner, 73, and Theresa Nist, 70, the first couple on Golden Bachelor, have announced their divorce three months after their broadcast wedding. On April 12, Jerry and Theresa appeared on Good Morning America. Theresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation, and so forth, Jerry said. We've come to the conclusion mutually that it's probably time for us to dissolve our marriage. The ex-couple also expressed gratitude to their supporters for their love and support. They first met on The Golden Bachelor, a senior edition of the well-known reality dating program. I don't think we can tell you how many people told us that it gave them so much hope, said Theresa. We want none of that to change for anybody. The inaugural season of The Golden Bachelor featured 22 ladies who were in their 60s or older, including Patty, the mother of former bachelor Matt James. Theresa and Leslie Fima, the runner-up, made rapid work of securing their positions as the season's favorites. Theresa and Jerry are one of the few Bachelor Nation couples to get married on television on January 4th, following Jerry's proposal to her in the season finale on November 30. They were the first in their franchise to follow in the footsteps of Trista and Ryan Sutter, the first couple from Bachelor Nation to have their wedding broadcast on television in 2003. Among the guests on Jerry and Theresa's special day were presenter Jess Palmer, who performed the marriage ceremony, Trista and Ryan, as well as familiar names from the most recent seasons of the show, such as Charity Lawson, Joey Graziadi, and season 27 pair Zach Shalcross and Katie Bigar. Even though the news of Jerry and Theresa's breakup will sadden devoted fans of Bachelor Nation, the Bachelor franchises have a solid history. For a status update on every Bachelor Nation couple, continue reading. On an April 20, 24 broadcast of Good Morning America, Jerry Turner and Theresa Nist revealed they were dissolving their marriage after three months of wedlock. Together with Theresa, Jerry stated on Good Morning America, Theresa and I have had a number of heart-to-heart -heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation, and so forth. We've decided that it's probably time for us to call it quits on our marriage. After becoming engaged in November 2023, on the first season of The Golden Bachelor, the couple married in a televised ceremony in January 2024 that featured special guests from Bachelor Nations including Joey Graziade from season 28 of Bachelor, and Trista and Ryan Sutter. The couple conveyed gratitude for the support they had received during their partnership, even in light of their choice to separate. Theresa said, I don't think we can tell you how many people told us that it gave them so much hope, as the couple made their split public. We don't want anything to change for anyone. Tennis player Joey Graziadi discovered his ideal match in project manager Kelsey Anderson after pursuing 32 possible spouses. Joey said to his last rose recipient, I can't wait another minute to tell you that I love you. Just before proposing during his season's March 2024 final, something about you appeals to me. I smile at the contagious enthusiasm you exude. I've never had this feeling before. I have known for a while that I've wanted to have a beautiful life, but I truly didn't know how beautiful that life could be until I met you, he said, envisioning his forever with the Louisiana native. Well, they didn't click until halfway through season nine of Bachelor in Paradise, underwater welder John Henry Spurlock, one of Charity Lawson's suitors, and nurse Kat Azo. She vied for Zach Shalcross's heart. We're prepared to go all in. I'm going to try something a little different, he declared, presenting an Asher cut diamond from Neil Lane. Today, I'm doing what my heart says. 
You are everything I've been seeking for, my heart is telling me. You are fantastic. However, the pair disclosed that they could no longer see eternity in each other's eyes a few days after the finale aired. While our paths are taking different directions due to our career goals not aligning, they wrote in a joint statement to Instagram, We are grateful for the love and support we've received from our family, friends, and Bachelor Nation. Elisa Isike, Clayton Etchard's ex-girlfriend, was nervous about being engaged in paradise, but she gladly accepted Aaron Bryant's proposal on the oceanfront, even though she was dressed entirely in white. She was moved by the software salesman's choice to ask her mother for approval and exclaimed, I knew I was not in control of what was going to come out of my mouth. After returning from Mexico, Charity's ex-boyfriend and marketing manager Elisa had some difficulties, as the finale's coda recognized. A few days later, they declared their engagement had been formally called off. Tricky emotions watching it all unfold, he posted on December 11 to Instagram. We're leading our amicable split with nothing but positivity and mutual respect for one another. Postpartum nurse Kylie Russell took a hard line against boyfriend Avon Jones for not proposing on Paradise, even though he was allegedly ready to do so when he was courting bachelor at Rachel Recchia. Nevertheless, she accepted Avon's offer to get out of here and make it work. I just had to do what I felt was right, she explained, despite the fact that it meant her intended engagement gown stayed packed. Love is all about taking risk. She revealed on her Instagram stories two days after their December 2023 20, final that their relationship had dissolved due to multiple infidelities. Later on, Avon wrote Kylie an apology, saying, I have made major mistakes in the relationship and hurt someone who was very close to me. I am happy with how this season turns out. Charity Lawson hinted at her August 2023 20, final in a statement that was grossly undersold to E! News. Integrative medicine expert Dotan Olibeko declared their love to be perfect, bending down to ask the child and family therapist, Would you do me the honor of turning this fairy tale into a reality? The couple stated that they are thinking about getting married in 2025 or 2026. But before that, the Georgian native will take a spin around the dancing with the star's ballroom. During The Bachelorette After the final rose, Doden comforted Charity, saying, All right, baby. I am aware that you enjoy getting down, dancing, and cutting up. We've discussed this before, you know, how wonderful this opportunity would be. And it gives me great pleasure to inform you that you will be competing on Dancing with the Stars. Let's go, baby. Zatch will get his happily ever after. Zatch Shawcross concluded season 27 in March 2023 20, down on one knee, despite a number of missteps pertaining to Fantasy Suite. Telling travel nurse Katie Bigar, I am so in love with you. My universe revolves around you. I could never have imagined the kind of affection I have for you. The Texas-based couple took a significant step forward in July 2023 when Katie posted on Instagram, saying, Officially roommates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.